everyone, it's Harry Frankfurt, and today I'm going to be admitting to lies I told as a kid. Subscribe, because I'm a terrible person and it kind of makes me feel like less of a terrible person. Look, I think we can all agree that as kids we would say things that may or may not be true. I took it to another level. No, I didn't take it to another level, but just every so often I would say things with conviction as if they were true when I knew full well that they weren't. And can I just say, I as an adult am not a good liar. I don't think anyone believes my lies. I try not to lie because I learnt from my experience as a kid. <laughs> Lying doesn't get you very far. So today I'm going to be admitting to lies that I told as a kid. The first one that I can think of that was just a blanket lie that I told as a kid was that my family was rich. We were not. I don't know if my family was particularly poor, but I know that we didn't live very lavishly and I liked to pretend that we did. This lie wouldn't be so bad if I didn't elaborate on it. And I don't know how many lies I'm going to get through today. I might have to do multiple of these because I am repenting for my lies. Is that a thing that you do, religious people? So when I was a kid, I told everyone that we were really rich. I would back this up with the evidence of lots of house keys. My brother, when he was very young, loved keys, like the jingling of keys and just playing with keys. So my mom used to go to the key carver person, whatever the hell they're called. The, the key, cu key, key cutters, key cutters, and get all of the dud keys because you know when you get a key cut sometimes it doesn't work so you go back, you hand it in and they just put it in a pile and my brother would use these as toys and first of all can I just say that keys are no toy that a two year old boy should be playing with especially seeing as my brother was at that age where everything went into his mouth I don't think that's safe, that's really not safe, don't do that, don't give keys to kids not the point of the story but that's how we got all of these keys. When I was a kid, I swear, I swear to you, lanyards were fashionable. So I would wear a lanyard, I think it was pink and had hearts on it, with a keychain with all of these bad keys on it. And I'd wear this lanyard to school and tell the kids that each of the keys was to a house that my family owned. I had this little Motorola mobile. <laughs> So embarrassing and I would say that my parents would tell me which house I would go home to let me just say my parents only had one house all those keys were duds so these were all lies that I used to tell as a kid so that is probably the first lie uh, there was also the fact that I would bring in different mobile phones that didn't work I'd take them into school and say that I just had multiple phones for Business reasons at nine years old. I don't know what I was thinking. I was a kid, okay? And in my head, we were really rich and I deserved to have multiple phones. I clearly thought that I had important people to be messaging. I don't know. I don't think texting was even that big of a thing back then, but whatever. I used to bring in the hand-me-down phones that my parents had, like work phones that my dad would Actually, I don't know how that worked. But regardless, we had a whole bunch of old phones and I'd take them into school and each day I'd have a different phone and I thought I was so cool. So cool. I really wasn't. I was definitely overcompensating for something. Loneliness and a broken heart. But let's not get into that. Another thing that you guys probably know by now is that my family is my mum, my brother, my dad and I. I used to tell people in school... Oh my God. This is so stupid. I used to tell people in school that I used to have an older sister named Sarah and that she died because she was a prostitute. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think she did drugs and was a prostitute and she died. And so I remember vividly. <laughs> this is so stupid. I'm really going to end it at this one because it's so embarrassing. I remember vividly. One day, someone said the name Sarah, and I pretended to get so upset and complain about the fact that my older sister was dead. I've never had an older sister. The name Sarah has no significance to me. I think I used to like that name as a kid. 
I don't really know, but I used to tell people that I had a dead older sister named Sarah who would like prostitute for drugs or something. In my defense, my mom used to let me watch Mori Povich with her. And by with her, I mean she would put it on for herself and then she'd pass out and I'd end up watching it. So that is a little bit of the history of the lies I used to tell as a kid. Obviously the fact that I'm telling you these things now lets you know that I don't lie about those things anymore. That was really embarrassing. So if you want to see me embarrass myself more often, uh, make sure you subscribe. Maybe I'll tell you about more lies I told as a kid in the next one. Make sure you subscribe so you know when my next video goes up. People are saying to bell me. Let me start that again. People on YouTube are starting to say that you should use the bell thing, but I don't know. Just do what you think you need. Do You do you. You guys will see me in the next one, so make sure you subscribe so you know when it goes up, and you will see me then. Okay? Bye!